on other fields, on other days. That's the primary charge for the cadets of Army. But on this field, the seeds planted by the likes of Davis, Blanchard, and Dawkins certainly have produced victory. Welcome to Mikey Stadium at West Point, home of the Black Knights of the Hudson. Today, two teams get set to square off in an interconference battle in the AAC. As we'll see, the UAB Blazers taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Army Black Knights. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Knights will kick it off to get us underway. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So UAB's offense takes the field. Here he comes, and obviously a defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. The Blazers are in the hurry up. First down for the offense. The give to the back. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Takes the handoff. It's Beebe. At the 45 on his way. Running wide open down the gut of the field. Touchdown, UAB! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. And these offensive coordinators tell you they want to start fast and they want to establish the run game. That is exactly what you did. First drive, you hand the football off, making the big explosive run, setting the tone for this football game. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And he capped it off with a 65-yard touchdown run. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Army's offense will have its first possession of the game. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt, they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. The option look. Nice job to keep it himself. Find the first down marker and move the change for this offense. Lining up from the 34 on first down. Here comes the option. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Win with the running game on first down. Now back at him. Looking for room. It's Robinson. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. And the Black Knights are rolling down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He uncorks a bullet to the right. Finds a man by himself. That is exactly what you want to do with the football. He's got it all the way down to the 15-yard line. 
This offensive line does such a good job communicating in the pass protection. You can see guys passing defenders off to one another, and that's why the quarterback had so much time to complete that throw deep downfield. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. He'll toss it. And he'll run to the house. Touchdown, Army! Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Getting set for the point after. Right down the middle. They marched 79 yards on the drive, and it was punctuated by an 11-yard run for the score. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. UAB has the ball back, ready to send the offense out to go to work. That'll be a gain of five out to the 27. And the Blazers in the hurry up. Leaves it with the running back. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. Back to throw, it's Zeno. Makes the grab. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. The Blazers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And that is just an awesome job in pass pro there on third down, giving the quarterback an opportunity to scan the field and step into his throw. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Got three on first down at second and seven. Leaves it with the back. Still running at the 40. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. First down here for the offense. Those outside runs, if they can get the edge like they do, great job by the right guard, right tackle, getting the edge. And now what does this do? This makes cornerbacks come up and tackle. Safeties come up and tackle. As opposed to linebackers and big defensive players, you get your guy out in space where he can use his speed and his physicality against guys that usually cover and don't come up and make tackles. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to him. Not sure exactly what led to that, whether the protection wasn't right or the quarterback just didn't see it, but the result was a negative play in a sack. Well, one thing I do know is that quarterback had no chance to get that ball downfield. That pocket was breaking down, and it was breaking down quickly. There were just too many bodies in that backfield for the QB to make anything happen. It's good. Easy call for the refs. And with that big goal, they now have the lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, a big time top 15 duel. Let's get right to it. Oklahoma is trailing, but don't tell me this team can't come back. I once saw Jalen Hurts lead the Sooners back from 28-3 down. We'll see what they're made of today. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Texas. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. On the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. 
They'll run the option. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? On the option. Keeps the legs moving. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking for space. It's Robinson. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. This is a designed run. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. On the option. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. The Black Knights will bring the punt team onto the field. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Wants to return it. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. And now the offense will come onto the field again. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And the Blazers want to move quickly. To the air, it's Zeno. Looking deep. And he's got it inside the 30-yard line. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense is giving them and creating the explosive play. He's just outside the 20-yard line, stopped at the 21 after a pickup of six. Second down. They go to the ground. They get him on the ground, but not before he rumbles all the way to the five. The Blazers will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Looking to pass on second down. He's got it. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. How many chances can you afford to waste in the red zone? They've already been stopped twice. Can they come through this time? It's third and goal. They won't let him in. He had a nose for that end zone, but he will be stopped short. And they decide to try out the kicker. And he'll have to be precise from the left hash in this short angle. The official says no good. Guys, a missed opportunity there. The lead is still three. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a run. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. A running back has it. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Using his feet to buy time. On the move at the 30. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. It's just so hard to stop. There is no rhyme. There is no reason. He just scrambles around, makes people miss, and the next thing you know, you look up, and he's 20, 30 yards down the field, and there's nothing you can do about it. 
On the move, it's Robinson. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. A designed run for the quarterback. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. He'll ride his man on the option. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Black Knights line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Couldn't fight his way out of his grasp. And the Blazers moving quickly to the line. To the air, it's Zeno. Pocket starts to collapse. Makes his connection. Gets away from one, finds some space. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And big pass plays like that are the product of an offensive line doing a great job in pass protection. That quarterback cannot read the coverage and get the football out of his hands to the open receiver unless he has time. So give this offensive line tons of credit up front for communicating and not giving up any ground. They are being so physical. They're bringing heat. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Caught behind the line. It's Jacobs. He ended up losing yardage on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. The Blazers will line up to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Goes to the option. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. And that is your job. The O-line has to protect their quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. The Black Knights will call on their punt team. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Slips through the line. He'll be guided out of bounds, but not before a nifty return on that one. UAB regains possession of the Blazer offense back onto the field. The give out of the gun. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Moving quickly, trying to rattle the D. Looking downfield, it's Zeno. Quick strike complete. And they do a really good job. Not as easy as it looks to get those blocks. And he picks up the first down. Game of eight. First down from the offense. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Now the play fake. He's got his man. Got some room headed to the goal line. Touchdown Blazers. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Kentucky is in trouble right now, and unless something drastic changes, we're looking at Wildcat on the menu tonight in Lexington. They're trailing by 17 to Vanderbilt. He'll do it himself. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Using his legs, it's Robinson. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Now on the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. To the air. It's Bolden. On the run. Still looking. Runs through a tackle. Really nice job by this sophomore quarterback to pick up the first down with the run. And the Black Knights have their offense in high gear. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. He'll keep it himself. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. They stop him at the 42, but they're on a roll with a pickup of 15 and a first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Quarterback on the move, still looking. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. Oh, he's going to try to hit him over the top. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Getting some heat. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. The Black Knights send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. UAB has the ball back, ready to send the offense out to go to work. They've got time, they've got the lead, and David is sort of like a doctor. First, do no harm. Do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create and sometimes hard to stop. You have it, so Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. If not, let's just take the lead into halftime and get ready for the second half. He's got it. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. He's looking to throw it. Can't make the connection. The pressure there caused the missed timing. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Looking to throw at Zeno. Fires to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. They'll throw it on first down. He's going to fire deep. Got it. And he wanted to score badly, but the defense wrestles him down at the two. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. They'll try to blast their way in. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, UAB. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. And what a push up front by this offensive line. Everyone playing in unison, driving out of their stance, working into the second level, hats on hats, creating a lane for that running back. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three possession lead at 17. 
So here comes the kickoff after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. From inside the 10, here he comes. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. They'll use a timeout right before halftime, maybe time for one or two more plays. He hurls one deep down the left side. It's incomplete, and they tried to get one on the board before the break and couldn't quite make the connection. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in West Point for an entertaining first half than you? And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Blake Field inside Mikey Stadium. And the Blazers will kick it away to start the second half. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Army has it back in the offense ready to go. They start this third quarter in a big hole, and they have to start climbing out right now. And they're going to have to be really aggressive. It's like this offense, when I'm playing from behind, every possession means so much more. And if you look the other side, the defense, they haven't given much resistance. Yeah, nothing has gone their way in the first half offensively. And you know now, based on how this defense is playing with their confidence, that you are going to be challenged on every single snap. So buckle up, get your mind right, and get ready to come back in this game. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. Give to the running back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. He'll pull it on the read. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. On the run, it's Robinson. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time, they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. They'll run the option. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. The option look. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Splits the uprights. Good. Putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. He wisely lets that one bounce through the back of the end zone and they'll take over at the 25. UAB regains possession of the Blazer offense back onto the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. He's got it over. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. 
The Blazers headed quickly to the line. Well, this guy's going to make catches all over the field. That time, he lined up all the way to the left side, and he was able to cross the entire field to make a catch on the right side. Defense lost track of him, and it ended up being a big play. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 with the first down. Looking to move it through the air. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. And he'll go out of bounds, and this aerial attack just continues to carve this defense into tiny slices. A first down run in the red zone. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. And the D deny them on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Well, they've gotten it down to the three, but now it's third and goal. Fires into the end zone. Oh, and he dropped it. He had a touchdown right in his hands and couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. Looking to pass at Sino. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, UAB. Really nice job working the route, getting himself open. And he was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is true, and the lead balloons to 21. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Kentucky needs to pick up the pace, but this puppy is far from over. And with this crowd there in Lexington behind them, I'm kind of banking on a comeback. They're trailing by 10 to Vanderbilt. Here comes the option. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. To the ground with the back. At the 40, there he goes. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. And obviously this offense has had their way getting the huge lead. And now when you know it's a running situation later in the ball games, you're still getting pounded. This defense has to step up at some point and be a lot more physical. A shot toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. This offense has a second down play. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Can't find the man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Jones. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. The holder will kneel down at the 29, making it a 39-yard attempt. Field goal is good. And that lead grows even bigger. Thank you. 
They keep pushing that Number lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. And here's the return. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're gonna climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's gotta be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've gotta score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've gotta execute much better. They, they gotta be super aggressive. Down 24, you're gonna need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kinda go your way so fast and throw in the football. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. And the Black Knights will punt it away on fourth down. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Makes a move. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. The offense lining up for a first down play. Use the play fake, now to throw. Blasted as he lets it go. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football and it'll be second down. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They get in the backfield and make the play and that's how they'll finish off this third period. The quarter comes to a close, and UAB is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops the throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Jacobs. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Blazers decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Just needs a crack to get a return. Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. He'll come out throwing on first down. Catch in the middle, it's Robinson. Here's the deal, you're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're gonna come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. He's gonna pass. Fires left. Got his man downfield. He'll work his way down to 28. The Black Knights will line it up on first and 10. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Nice move to keep moving. And he's brought down after a nice game. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. On the option. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Just going to keep it after the snap. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Going for six. To the end zone, and it's picked off. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job. UAB has the ball back, ready to send the offense out to go to work. 
They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. First down for the offense. Now they'll run it to the right here. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Now on second down. On the ground, it's Jacobs. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. The Blazers will punt this one away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Takes it on the return. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. Wants to throw on first down. Fires to the wideout. Got him downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Throws to the wideout. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Dropping back, it's Bolden. Right down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the ten. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. They'll run the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Third and goal coming up here. He's now third. They want to throw it. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. A field goal really doesn't do much for you in this situation, so they'll go for it on fourth and goal. He's looking to throw. He wants it all. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Black Knights! He decided to go for it on fourth down, and that was not easy. These windows open and close so quickly when you're throwing into the end zone, but really nice timing by the quarterback, and because of that, on fourth down, it's a touchdown. They'll line up to go for two. Trying to punch it in. Snowed under by the defense. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. UAB regains possession of the Blazer offense back onto the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for in a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. They're facing a third down. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Working their way closer and closer. A third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll keep it on the ground. 
and maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23, and this D would love to force a field goal try. Looking for a man, it's Zeno. Feeling some heat. Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. And here comes the field goal team. Salt, meet open wound. It is true as he puts three on the board. And they'll push that lead out a little further. UAB, 37 on 16. It has been said that the obstacle is the way, and this obstacle is now back-to-back -back losses. Back-to-back -back L's. Um, it's not the end of the world, though. I still think there's time for this team to figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to finish the season strong. It's not over yet. Two bad weeks. Flush it down the toilet. Refocus the mechanism. We're ready to rock and roll next week. It just needs to be about finding a way to win a game right now. In all likelihood, 99.9% .9 chance the college football playoff now is not a possibility anymore. That's okay. Let's worry about winning a game. Let's go back. Let's watch the film. Let's get back to being who we are so we can get this ship right. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.